Hello folks, it's Luke from GOK at NAM, and I'm standing with David Hostler, who's in charge of all the pickup development for Taylor. And this year what they're bringing out on sort of the 5 Series and above is the new Expression System 2. So obviously the Expression System 1 was a phenomenal pickup. It sounded incredible, it was simple, it worked. It, it's, it's what pickups should be, I, I feel. Well, thank you. Uh, how have you sort of upped your game this year and what has changed with the new system? Well, a number of years ago when we did the first expression system, we had actually abandoned the use of piezo crystals. Yeah. Uh, a couple of different reasons. All of us who've ever worked on guitars understand trying to balance a pickup with a typical UST, understandable transducer, is a nightmare, yeah. no matter what. And second of all, it's that, that quacky sound that, it, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. that you get. Well, we left that back in late 1998. 99 when I first started working on an expression system and then um, when I was setting up our distribution network in Holland uh, in Amsterdam uh, I was in the building one day and I had remembered some laser interferometry laser <laughs> uh, everyone loves a laser yeah yeah well anyway that we had done and all of a sudden it just an idea had occurred to me right. and so I called my assistant back in the US and had him build a couple prototypes I was finished in Amsterdam uh, a couple months later, went back and we started working on this. And we got way beyond proof of concept really quick. And we got to where we are now. So, I mean, I'll give you a little, we're gonna get a little under the hood now, okay? We're lifting <laughs> the, the, the hood of the engine up and we're gonna look inside. Basically, for years, one of the theories with, with piezo pickups that are mounted under the saddle, <clears throat> excuse me, is that when the strings are played, there's some sort of up and down compression that happens, yeah. Yeah, and that yeah. that's being transferred into that pickup in there. Yeah, yeah. So basically, what happens is each string puts between eight and ten pounds of pressure. Well, that locks it down on top of that crystal, yeah. and it squishes it. Yes. So what happens is a, a crystal is a lot like a sponge; it wants to emit voltage this way and this way. Yeah. Well, it can't go this way yeah, yeah, yeah. because it's being held down. That's the reason piezo crystals sound so quacky. They're pre-compressed and they don't re-expand, okay? That's why it's a bad position. Well, we did more laser work on it, <laughs> and what we discovered was actually that the saddle, instead of doing this when you're plucking it, the longitudinal wave on the string is making the saddle go like this. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. It's, so it's actually going back and forth. We have laser images to prove this. Um, so we realized that the real energy was not going to be captured underneath or any other place, but was going to be captured from behind with the front edge of the bridge kind of rocking over it, you know? Okay. So what we ended up designing was, first of all, something that would take advantage of that. Yeah. Second of all, we wanted to eliminate the crushing of the crystal. Yeah. So we put these crystals basically on an arm that we can move forward and backwards from there, all right? So instead of crushing them with 60 pounds, we can put ounces of pressure moving them forward and backwards on that. And that's basically what you see. And we'll, I know we'll take some B-roll footage here and everything, but the idea is that the energy from the string hits the saddle, rocks, the pickup catches it. Obviously the sound goes into the top, yeah. The sound from the top goes back into the strings. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that location is an absolutely ideal location to do this. And controlling the pressure on the crystals at this point is the real key to what we're trying to do. So the pickup, which will, you know, looks like this, a couple crystals on here. And on the very front part of it, you can see the three of them. And they're on an arm that moves forward and backwards. And then inside the guitar, we have this lovely cutaway here for you. So you can kind of see it on the arm, the crystal's here, and these little screws move them forward and backward. Okay? That's, it's really that simple. If I plug it in and loosen the pressure, all the sound goes away. Right. And I can actually adjust the sound of my guitar by the amount of pressure I put on there. Okay? So the lighter I pressure on it, the more acoustic it sounds. But the system is still a dynamic system, just like the, the earlier expression system, which had body sensors, only now all the body motion goes to this point. Is so. the, the fact that the, the, the piezo isn't sort of pre-crushed, why this pickup generates a bit more volume? And not only, ge yes, but it also, it generates uh, a wider frequency response. Yeah, 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 yeah. basically, 
it, it, the crystals, they don't like, they, <laughs> piezo means to squeeze, but they don't <laughs> like to be crushed, you know. Yeah, yeah. So the idea is that they're being squeezed very lightly, and so the more relaxed you can keep them, the more actual motion you have. Yeah. And so when you strum, you can strum as hard as you want, and it doesn't compress out like piezo does. Okay. And again, the sound of the body goes back into the strings, which translates the wood. So it's quite fascinating. Uh, we do have the first laser images of that movement yeah. that have ever been done. Yeah, yeah. And I can unequivocally say this is exactly the position pickups should be in. If you want to get what's happening, <laughs> that's it. Is that something you're going to be publishing online in one of your, your PDF sort of technical documents? Yes, it will. Documents? There's a patent on it now, right. uh, which, you know, for all you patent geeks, you can go <laughs> find it somewhere and look and see what we did. Uh, but basically, this uh, information on this will be published online. But what's even better is just to plug it in and play it. Yeah, it yeah, has yeah. all the normal features that we've been using for years, volume and tone. Obviously, it's a different preamp. Yeah. But, uh, you know, we're keeping the same things that keep the look of the instrument, you know, working, you know, yeah, like yeah. that. But it is a new idea, and yeah. it's going to take a while for people to go, oh, I get it. But now that we showed you, we everybody in your country it. is going to get it first. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Thank you for taking the time. My pleasure. Good to meet you guys.